What's up, Scorpio? It's Obsidian with a Cell. It's December 15th, and we're here to do your daily again. So before we get into it, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel to show your love and support. Also, if you'd like to book a personal reading, that information is going to be in the description box below. My personals are still at least 20 minutes for $20, so take advantage of it while you can, guys. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Um, I had to freeze for a minute because I'm really thinking hard about this is some serious premeditative energy that came out but Scorpio readings are intense right we're intense people and so Scorpio what you have here we're gonna we're gonna pull this up in a minute and then do a, a spread an actual read for you but just your premeditated tative shuffle and energy that I'm picking up was pretty intense okay so there's an energy of there's been a false person in your energy and a false person that actually that tried to kind of with some deceptive behavior, mess up your money, mess up with their need and greed for stability. It could have been a lover here with um, the lover's card showing up. We have the Libra. So it could have been a Libra energy or Gemini energy, heavy air energy, um, five of swords energy, um, deceptive behavior there's a man and a woman here as well so i feel like there was also some sort of like a team effort in something here more than one person involved but you're going to get money news and sagittarius energy here as well um what this person actually did the energy that i'm picking up for you scorpio was with unexpected income false person they they created a pathway for you here you did that scorpio thing basically like you took something and made it nothing excuse me you took nothing and made it something right so i feel like you completely fucked this energy up when you did that so this false person inevitably gave you this unexpected income in your life so whatever anger and resentment you have towards this person i kind of feel like you should be in the energy of like well that shit sucked, but I feel grateful now because I never would have been here, right? So it's the energy of hard work paying off for you big time. I don't know what's about to happen, Scorpio, but this is big. This is great fortune. It's not just unexpected income. This is great fortune from the hard work you've put in here, okay? So we're going to get into it. I like seeing that. I don't like seeing the other, but at least like something positive has come out of whatever you've gone through here. Um, and I feel like there's just a lot of energy that's just kind of sitting there like mind blown. Honestly, it's like uh, you fucked somebody's game up, number one. Number two, I think people are just mind blown, right? So it's kind of like, I feel like <sighs> you truly just don't know what it's like to fuck with a Scorpio until you've done it and you see what happens. Then you learn your lesson not to fuck with a Scorpio, right? <laughs> so, um, let's get into it. You don't, we are just way too unpredictable, man, especially uh, when it comes to trying to plot against a Scorpio. Yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> We're way too unpredictable for that shit. All right. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Any messages you would like for them to receive? Any messages for them to receive? Plus, the Scorpio will sit and let you lie. We'll let you lie to us and play the game right along with you. Just to see the shit hit the fan when it does, right? Here are the angels, ancestors, guys. Please help us provide Scorpio with any messages you would like for them to receive. So the good news is whatever you've got going on here, Scorpio, whatever you've worked for, hard for, that was a message. Look, and this is the card that was right underneath it when I looked up. Okay, message here. Your intuition, follow your intuition here. This is a cycle of completion, okay? Don't look back right? That was a cycle of completion. You're moving forward here. Um, I feel like with a, the high priestess showing up to you with that message, it's there's something either about your intuition that helped you in this cycle, okay? Or it will. One more time. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, what message do we have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising. Also protect us with your light of white light of protection through the tarot. Amen.
right away, Scorpio, you got somebody here, a love interest in your energy here, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, past energy, uh, could have been somebody that had a lot of money, investor, wise with money, or could have been older than you, not necessarily though, but just the energy of somebody, um, I like to call him the big daddy, right? So this is this is the one that likes to be called daddy, right? So they like to spoil you or control you. It's it's the dom, it's the dom and the sub dom relationship, basically, right? So this is the guy that wears the pants, right? And and basically likes to be in charge. There's an energy of this person is no longer in your life, but they watch you. This person is like. Uh, they either look at you in a light like it's not a wholesome light. I don't know why here, but it's because somebody else is interested in you. I feel like there's some sort of an, uh, a love interest with a younger water sign. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but we do have the Prince of Cups here. Okay, right next to the King of Pentacles there. And then the Princess of Wands here. This is my female hoe card, right? So I don't feel like you're in that energy. Shit, you could be. You could be in the energy like, I don't want any motherfuckers, right? <laughs> you let me know in the comments. So that's either, this can go one way or the other. But I feel like it's the energy of somebody's looking at you like this because there's this other energy that wants you. And it's like a sideways jealous thing. Like, how dare you go after this person? But this person didn't have to have the, they didn't come at you the right way. They're in reverse. They didn't come at you in their element. So there was something about their energy that was off um, anyway. So I feel like that's why you basically ignored that energy here. We have the three of pentacles. This is one, somebody that possibly wants to work with you though. Energy involving money here as well. Star card. You could be recognized. Um, Again, something that you've worked hard for. This energy could also be something, Scorpio, uh, you could be recognized or um, somebody could ask you to work with them in some kind of project. You could be working with a celebrity here. This could be you in the spotlight if you're in the, uh, the arts in some way, shape or form, acting, modeling, um, singing, whatever. There's something that I feel like you're going to be using some sort of a talent here, working with somebody, collaborating to make money here and being, this is possibly where you could be receiving a great fortune here as well. Um, or just a larger amount of money, right? Um, Scorpio card transformation. So yeah, this is kind of like your whole life is about to 100% completely change here right next to the star card. Whatever this collaboration you have coming in, you're going to feel like your prayers are being answered. Maybe you are in the energy of like, I don't know what you guys got going on over here, but I'm good, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, I'll just take this little wand, be, <laughs> right? I'll just go about the business here, right? <laughs> Scorpio, like, I got other shit going on. Um, let's see. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? <laughs> Three of Cups energy. This is energy of celebrating. Yes. I feel like this holiday season, whatever you've got going on, like some news that you're going to be getting concerning this, this opportunity, you're going to be really celebrating with family and friends because this is right here with a collaboration again above it. Like um, it could be some sort of a collaboration with family and friends. I don't know who it's going to be collaborating with, but there's going to be an energy of just feeling like this is just great. Okay. You're um, in the energy of celebrating this. Um, along with that energy is going to come some hate and ass energy. Okay. This is right underneath. Um, this could be a love interest that you turn your back on as well. <clears throat> there is a snake energy or there's a snake energy around them. Um, if you're involved with this new love situation here, um, there might be somebody that's jealous in the background, especially if you've got these positive things going on here. We have air energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, and then a snake again here at the bottom. So, uh, heavy air. So I say if there, there could be a possibly like, uh, an air sign around you that isn't going to be happy. Or if you're involved with an air sign, there could be an energy of somebody around that person that's not happy about this situation. And there's heavy jealousy going on here. I'm going to pull some clarifying energy here. Um, but I'm picking up both masculine and, you know, but, you know, along with this recognition, Scorpio, 
there's going to come there's going to be both good and bad, right? So whatever this is, it's coming into your life. It seems really positive and the shitty thing about that when that happens, you're going to have some hate and ass motherfuckers. But it looks like honestly like you know, to me um Let me pull another card. I'm going to elaborate. But it looks like to me this isn't anything that's going to... Yeah, two of wands. This is waiting to make a decision. It could be a router relationship here, okay? That's what I was thinking too as soon as that popped out, okay? So if you do have an opportunity concerning a relationship right now, there might be a, some drama behind that situation. And because of what you've got going on in your career right now or whatever it is that you're um, trying to achieve some sort of success here and celebrating, I see that's happening for you in December or in the next coming few weeks, beginning of January, you might wait on this, okay? There are, there are hidden emotions here as well. Love. Um, I feel like this will be a, um, a connection divinely guided, but there might be an energy of like waiting or keeping it on the low, right? So just waiting, not rushing into, you know, letting people know what's going on or being, taking it very slow here. Okay. Because I feel like this energy is, it's like, uh, it's not worth screwing up whatever you've got going on here for you and your mind, Scorpio, I feel like. Yeah, this is the energy, air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, the energy of precise action, okay? Thinking about how to move, right? So this is thought, action, thought, right? So the energy of being clever, okay? Um, being smart about the way you move, okay? Because you don't want to have this, you, you're, you've, the seven of pentacles here, you've, you've had a delay, but you're also... And this energy coming up here, right after that, I have the Empress and the Eight of Pentacles, right? So it's the energy of um, the seeds that you've planted now are starting to come into fruition here. And, and you're going to be whatever you've worked hard for, okay? These are the seeds that you've planted, right? This, this energy, this manifestation of abundance coming in, this gift, this whatever this is, you put in hard work that you're being blessed from the divine, that's coming in now. So we have the energy of the Empress here and the Eight of Pentacles. Working hard is going to pay off and you'll be able to enjoy your life, okay? So I feel like you're in the energy of like, we're going to keep this quiet because I feel like there are people around you and your energy that unfortunately are just not happy that aren't going to be happy with you being happy, that aren't going to be happy with you um, getting whatever recognition or this position or something that uh, is going to be, uh, um, I feel like in your mind, a big deal and to others as well, possibly a big deal, Scorpio. But um, I just feel heavy emphasis on your life being completely different and being able to actually joy, enjoy it. Um, and I feel like you feel so scared, right, to like, to mess with anything that's going to mess, penetrate that bubble, basically, right? Um, let's see. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, please provide Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Letting my spirits would like for them to see. Help me elaborate on what this... Three of Pentacles energy is with a star card showing up. And then we'll elaborate on what this Nine of Swords energy is. King of Wands energy. So this is you being very confident, powerful, courageous, right? So this energy is like very attractive, unstoppable, but most of like courageous, very, very confident. So I feel like this you are in this energy, this passion, passionate energy about what you do. And I feel like it's being recognized. I feel like this is why you're getting this recognition here. Um, this is putting burdens behind you here. Okay. For with some sort of an air energy, putting the nail in the coffin, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Um,
Maybe this is an energy before that used to be able to knock you down and tear your confidence down and they can't do it anymore. You put a nail in your coffin, in that coffin, it's done, it's over. That energy can't fuck with you like they used to, right? So you energetically possibly cut the cord. Now you're in this King of Wands energy. And then the Nine of Cups, which is basically making your wishes come true yourself, right? So the energy of being comfortable and content, making it happen, um, and doing it alone. So you're doing something that you feel emotional about, okay? This is an energy of, um, I feel like, so you could have created something possibly that you're going to be recognized for, Scorpio, because we do have the Nine of Cups here, and this is with the King of Wands, very powerful energy on your own. So maybe somebody might want to come together and collaborate with you with this energy, or you're just going to be recognized for whatever it is that you're doing right now. But again, um, very good energy here, and... Three of Swords came out when I was getting ready to say, what is this Nine of Swords energy? So third party energy again. So I feel like more than anything, I'm picking up the energy of somebody, either possibly this person you become involved with or an energy of one of your exes. There's an energy of somebody that's not going to be happy about this connection and the two of you living a life that is um, comfortable if you're involved in this connection here um, in a new connection. There's third party interfering energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, eight of wands, fast movement. Okay, there's fast movement trying to stop whatever that connection is. So if there's some kind of an interest or love interest going on here with you with an air sign or you have an interest or there's a past energy that's an air sign, somebody's coming in quick to fuck that up. Whatever that is, it's the energy of a, they don't want it to happen here. Fire energy as well. With the Hierophant. Um, for somebody, somebody can be married here as well. Or this is the energy somebody's worried that you're going to be marrying this person or get married to this person. And they're trying to kind of get in the way of that. Or they think that's going to happen here. Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's gossip possibly maybe. Or... This person has watched you change your life as well. And I think people are talking about that as well. Maybe air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I get like, I keep hearing like too, if there's an energy of like somewhere where you live, it's not very big. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. People are talking about um, like a transformation. Maybe you're known. Maybe it's an energy of like seeming like, oh, this person knows you're going to be, um, well off here um the energy of the ten of pentacles and there's an energy of a sagittarius energy that used to burden you that's not around so it could be in connection that could be who's speaking about you talking about you who in this energy as well um yeah, so my best advice and whatever you've got going on, Scorpio, is keep it to yourself. We do have messages sexting coming in. <laughs> keep it on the low, whatever this is. This is sexual, flirtatious, fun energy, fire energy. Um, to be very sexy energy, very attractive here, Queen of Wands. But this is also my karmic energy as well, so... Um, let's see what the hell this is coming in. King of Cups energy. Um, Three of Pentacles. So this is an energy I feel like that you're going to work well with here with this showing up. Um fire energy, water energy. So this person is very passionate, very emotional, very passionate person. Um, very attractive, possibly a great lover. And I feel like this is why this is coming up. This person is very sexual. Their energy is very sexual and emotional, but very sexual. This is my drunken love card. <laughs> so I feel like this person, like, uh, I don't know. I just feel like a charmer energy here very very charming very um let's see so whatever this is yeah 
I feel like Spirit is saying reflect on the past. All right. Um, if you do have some kind of a new situation going on, very flirtatious or whatever you've got going on, Scorpio, there is energy in the coming um, from people around you that don't want you to have whatever you've got going on for whatever reason you've got some haters here in the love department and financial department so the seven of swords air energy again i feel like reflect on the past okay see how this motherfucker looks like he just took a long nap in a coffin we don't want to do that again do we no right so it's the energy of you know um think about the past too and moving forward and, and making when you're making your decisions moving forward here and then your future concerning uh who you even tell about um you know whatever these blessings are maybe you should keep them all a little hush hush for a little bit right um as look I'm, I'm scared to talk about how some of these some of it right you know just because we know cross watchers like to watch too so um scorpio it looks like January is going to be, the end of December and January is going to be uh, looking pretty good for you, okay? So I'm going to get my, Rebel deck out and see if we have another message for you really quick with that. And then my spirit messages from angels really quick. Spirit angels, ancestors, guides. Please help me provide Scorpio Sun Moon Rising. Do any messages you would like for them to receive? I just heard talk of the town too. So yeah, I feel like it's for somebody, maybe you don't live in a big town and people are talking. You know what I mean? Maybe uh, people are just used to you seeing you do shitty and now it's kind of like, oh, you know, look at, she thinks she's all, you know, hating, hating energy is what I'm picking up here, especially with this Nine of Swords energy. Um, you might even have a friend or a past friend that I feel like this energy that was talking a lot of shit over here could have been somebody that was close to you at one point in time and they're just jealous now. So it's the energy of trying to make other people dislike you for some something stupid. So just, you know, I'm not picking up the energy of, I just feel like that you are very guarded over your energy and I feel like you should be with this energy showing up. I don't feel like anything bad is in the energy of coming towards you. I just feel like you just need to keep your life personal for a little bit here especially with this positive stuff coming on obviously celebrate with people that you trust and care about here or that care about you and are, are going to be happy for you with these blessings coming in but you know what I'm saying um go see some shit do some new things talk to people cooler than you let's see so basically if you've been stuck in the house get out of the fucking house right <laughs> all right go easy on your ass buy your own damn drink um, you are the best thing that ever happened to you. So also in this energy, which I was feeling in, the, in this nine of cups energy and this like energy with a little bit of drama going on between like maybe past people interested in you and new people. And it's just kind of like, I'm good by myself. Right? So you are the best thing that ever happened to you. And I feel like once you're in this energy, you can do so much in your life, right? Because nothing else matters when you fall in love with yourself. I mean, uh, other people can't help but love you too, right? <laughs> so, you gotta love you first. And they broke your heart, fuck them. So, I feel like this is specifically for the energy that broke your heart and that still wants you, um, but they broke their heart, broke your heart, right? So, fuck them. <laughs> fuck them anyway, right? So, I feel like there is somebody, I feel like, in your energy, around your energy, possibly Scorpio, that didn't want you um that broke your heart and now they look at you like you know you think you're too good for them or something crazy i don't know i just get that vibe it's like it's, it's either they're irritated with you doing i don't it doesn't make sense because i don't get the energy that this person really wanted to go after you i don't know what it's about but i guess if it resonates you'll understand all right so Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio, Sun, and Rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Um, it could be friends, family. I mean, that's a, a, anybody that broke your heart in any way, shape, or form, right? To help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Let's grab another one. And then your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. 
All right, so I love ending it on this note, guys. Lots of love and light to you. Again, until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel to show your love and support. Also, again, um, if you would like a personal reading, those are still, I'm still offering them for at least 20 minutes for $20. That information will be in the description box below. Until next time, bye.